All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was about a box and a half of pasta. And now we got some cherry tomatoes. We're just gonna put these off in the cut over here. And I got some turkey pepperoni. You guys, if you haven't tried turkey pepperoni, y'all are missing out. And I'm gonna use most of this bag. And then we're gonna bring in the fun stuff. So I have a bell pepper here. Then I have about a half of a red onion. This was a large red onion too. And you can tailor your recipe to however you like. Uh-oh, we got some runaway cheese. And then we got some mozzarella. Oh, you taking it from me, Ryan? <laughs> we got mm. some mozzarella cheese mm. and this is the good stuff here and I just chopped these up into fourths so we're just gonna put this over to the side right here I'm gonna learn how to make this mozzarella at home all right then the next thing we're gonna add is some grated parmesan and I'm just gonna put this over to the side here. Oh, you know, we got a chunk. We just gonna break that up. My hands are clean. I just washed them. And then we are gonna add some large olives. These are black olives. Um, that's totally my preference. You do not have to add olives or black olives. If you wanna add green olives, you totally can. If I can get them out of here, y'all. Like I said, my hands are clean. And I'm probably gonna add about half of this can. No juice, you don't want your uh, recipe being too salty. All right. And so we are gonna set this prettiness off to the side for just a second. And that original bowl, we're gonna bring that back because we are not gonna make too much of a mess with all of our dishes. So the next thing we got here is some extra virgin olive oil. And I am gonna add probably this whole entire thing. So this is gonna be about a cup and a half. We're not gonna waste anything. Perfect. And then I'm gonna add a, about a half a cup of red wine vinegar. Again, I am measuring with my heart. So y'all just gotta trust me. And this is our dressing. So the next thing we're gonna add is some salt. And this part is totally customizable. If you wanna add more or less, you can totally do so. Then I'm gonna add some black pepper. It might seem like I'm adding a lot, guys, but that was a lot of pasta. So I am being liberal with my seasoning of this dressing. Just gotta trust me. And then we are gonna add some Italian seasoning. And you see that was salt-free. You know what? We gonna pop this part over. And then the last thing we're gonna add is some crushed red pepper flakes. This part is completely optional because it's gonna add, you know, just a little bit of kick. Maybe a lot of bit of kick. <laughs> and I'm just gonna give this a good stir. We wanna get all of that incorporated together. 
Y'all, this smells heavenly. Perfect. All right, so we are gonna bring that pasta dish back and we're just gonna pour that right over the top, just like that. I'm gonna make sure it gets all over everything. Everything, everything. And then we're gonna give this a good mix. Y'all, this smells so good. And you don't want to be like the Hulk when you're mixing. You want to be nice and gentle. Because this bad boy is going to be ready to eat as soon as we get done mixing everything. Ooh, this smells so so good, y'all. I cannot wait to taste this. And it looks so pretty, doesn't it? Got everything in here that you need in life. All right, guys. I almost made it. I almost made it. The universe said, nope, your calling card is being messy. There you go. All right, so y'all already know I got my plate ready. Look at that. Got me some cheese on there. Tomatoes, some of that turkey pepperoni. Mmm. 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 Y'all, that mozzarella and turkey pepperoni just kicked it up to another notch. But y'all see how quick and easy that was? Y'all gotta try it for yourself. Don't believe me. I'll see y'all next time.